a lot of people always ask me, how do you actually put these mission trips on? And I thought it'd be interesting to document it. Although I cannot really document the entire process, I documented the initial site visit. So the first thing you have to do is figure out how you're gonna get there. My name is Ryan Osborne. I trained as a head and neck surgeon in South Central Los Angeles, managing the most complex cancer and trauma patients in the country. I've operated across the globe in first and third world countries. My experiences have taught me the value of flexible and innovative thinking, but I realized that our healthcare system doesn't always allow for that. So I started Osborne Head and Neck Institute. I made it my mission to find the best, most creative surgeons around, and I gave them the space to excel. Together, we create a new standard in medicine. These are our stories. So it's just a little bit past nine o'clock. It's been a good trip so far. The rest of the team has headed back. I'm still in Belgrade. And I'm getting prepared to head to the airport and try to make our way to India. No big deal. Just a trip. Just a short little trip. So it is approximately 9.30 in the morning and Dr. O and I are headed to the airport now, heading off to Rome. This and the end of February, the New Year. Yes, yes. The holidays, uh, New Year and the Christmas. Be safe. Doctor. As soon as he said bus, I said, mm. that sounds like a run is coming. Loss of cabin pressure, oxygen mask. Alliances, please to welcome you in New Delhi, where it is now 10 minutes past 2 a.m.
We are officially in India. There's no question about that. Look at the sea of humanity. out the door. So I met a gentleman here from uh, Dubai who's come to India for uh, medical care. Uh, appears like medical tourism. He's got bilateral kidney stones and so he's flown in just to get his kidney stones treated. So pretty interesting.
not be too far from reaching the Radisson, which is where we're staying tonight. I am hoping and praying that the Radisson has um, universal standards, hence I'll get a good shower, a nice little rest, and recharge the battery. But if not, we'll roll with it. When in Rome, do as the Romans. said we weren't going to do this, we weren't going to try anything crazy, we didn't want to get deli belly, but we're now in Punjab and this is the place where spice, flavor and music all come together and you just get the best of everything, so we have to try it. And the first dish we had, it was the best Indian food I've ever had. I'm not even sure what I've been eating back home. This one, a little bit scared of, I know it's going to taste good, but I'm not sure how this is going to sit in my my sort of like new Indian stomach. We may pay for this, but gotta try it. Gotta try it, so here we go. It's awesome. This is awesome. Currently standing out in front of the Radisson Hotel in Ludhiana in the India, state of Punjab. And I was here looking for a site for a potential humanitarian medical mission for my team. It just so happens that the timing was um, commensurate with, with possibly the worst air pollution 
that India has ever seen. In fact, it's all over the news. I almost canceled my flight, but plans were made and I just didn't want to stop. And when I got here, I, I don't think I really believed that it was going to be as bad as it actually is. But it's roughly about 8 in the morning here, and this is not fog. What you're seeing around, this is smog. I thought it was fog, but you literally can taste this stuff. I mean, it, it'll make you choke. And it's not clearing. I thought it'd be a little bit exaggerated on the TV. There's no exaggeration. There are times last night when you could barely see an arm's length in front of you. I don't even know how my driver was driving. It was scary as I don't know what, because I'm thinking he can't see anything. So we're here just trying to see what it's like out on the street. There's a motorcyclist coming at me. He's got a mask on. I don't know how well he sees me. This is a real gas chamber here, and something's got to be done. This makes me want to do the mission even more because there's no question, I've got asthma, so I have pulmonary issue. I put myself on oral steroids, inhaled steroids, and bronchodilators in order to get through these two days that I'm here. But the fallout of this is going to be huge. There's going to be a lot of kids with respiratory problems, a lot of adults with respiratory problems, and now I want to come more than ever. I'm more committed to trying to make this work. So hopefully we find a site where we can do this medical mission and hopefully I can convince the team to come. I'm wearing a white shirt that'll probably be black or gray by the time I get back. This is only gonna get worse as the day goes on. More cars, more buses, more people. The concepts and what I understand is it's a combination of it's winter, it's cold. Crops have been harvested and, and the waste and the sort of the leftover aspects of farming, the farmers are burning that in order to destroy it because they don't really have a great mechanism to get rid of this material. That adds to a lot of carbon uh, elements in the air. In addition to that, you've got Diwali, so you've got fireworks you got motor vehicles, you got people trying to stay warm, so they're using open fires and burning whatever they have to stay warm. I mean, on the news, the environmental scientists essentially said, breathing this air in for 24 hours would be the equivalent of smoking 44 cigarettes in one day. So, I'm not, I've never smoked a day in my life, but at this point, I've dropped a couple packs in my lungs just between the time I've been here. And that's the reason I'm staying on steroids prophylactically, just trying to make sure I don't go into some sort of respiratory shock or arrest. <coughs> I think I've had enough. It's time to get out of this smoke. So we got a long day ahead of us. Long drive. I want to preserve my lungs as much as I can. My wife will kill me out here. She sees us. So we are in the car, we're leaving uh, Ludhiana on our way to Jalandar. Being escorted by Dr. Swan Gupta. It's so nice uh, to be joining you. We're very happy to host the event that you guys are planning. It's uh, nice to hear that you are uh, doing these kind of missions. We've got uh, two generations here in this car that have committed themselves to medicine. Rena's dad is a pulmonologist and she followed in his footsteps and went into medicine and ultimately became a laryngologist. And I'm just curious how she feels about being here with her dad in India, in putting home. together a, a mission and going back to his hometown where he trained. So I think that's an important thing here. I have a lot of family that's here still. So every time we've come, even as kids, it was more of a family trip. And now growing up, I sort of feel like this is my first time coming here as an adult. Even though I've come in the past decade, this feels like me coming as a grown-up. I have my own family, I brought them here, I'm here with my parents, and 
it started out feeling more as a family trip, but now today we're headed to the hospital and it's sort of gelling for me that I'm somehow able to give back to my roots and to my dad's roots and to the people that I've grown up around in a really meaningful way and affecting their lives. That's a really special opportunity and I think not one that most people get. The biggest thing that I had to figure out can we overcome was really the travel. I mean, this is a grueling, physically challenging trip. Forget taking care of patients. I just mean to get there and to get back. Going there, I was 100% certain this is not going to be a viable trip for us. I considered myself pretty durable and I was feeling it. I mean, it was taxing me. So I said, if I'm taxed, a lot of people are going to be taxed. So I was pretty sure this trip could not be done unless we could find a more efficient way to get from Delhi to the New Ruby Hospital. The drive is not going to work, so we decided to try to fly and do an intra-country flight. So as you remember, on the way here, uh, coming from Delhi, heading into Punjab, we were going into Ludhiana, and that was a six-hour bumpy 
car ride with poor visibility. At that point, coming off that long flight just to get to India, I was very clear, this is not gonna be a viable trip if this is the way we have to get there. So we got into uh, the city that we were actually looking at, the hospital, the, the, the New Ruby uh, Hospital, and that city is actually Jalandhar. And now what we're trying to do is see if there's an alternative way to get back to Delhi that avoids that long drive. So what we're trying is an intra-country flight from Amritsar uh, Airport into Delhi. This would be uh, the intra-country flight on Spice Airlines. And then from there, we would transfer over to the International Delhi uh, Airport. So we'll see how that goes. If this works out, hopefully we can cut out four uh, hours out of that six hour transit time. I think that would be tremendously helpful and that would make this potentially still viable splits. So we'll see how it goes.
Did it. <laughs> we are back in New Delhi. And I, even though we aren't technically on a plane anywhere, it still feels like success. I mean, making it to the airport feels like success. Those standards have come down a little bit since we left in the United States. Just getting here. Here. <laughs> Talk to me. This is an amazing race for real. It's not a show. I know we can make it. Fear is not a factor for us. All right. Going forward at this point in time, India is a go. And what we need is your support. So please, join with us again. Bring your friends, bring your family, get your churches, your community, and support this movement. We're going back there. They're going to need a lot of help with that type of uh, pollution in the air. The respiratory disease and the fallout secondarily is going to be high. But there's going to be a real need for us there. So uh, please support us and thank you in advance. Again, there's lots of ways you can get in contact with us. Facebook, Twitter, our YouTube channel. Call straight to the office. Go to our um, foundation website, ohnifoundation.com. And thank you so much.